Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Duck's Pokemon. My name is Zach, you can just call me Ducky. And in today's video, we have the final part of the little mini-series that I've been doing where I just opened four packs that I got from Target. Simple enough, right? So today, uh, we are going to be opening up uh, two Chilling Rain, a Battle Styles, and an, uh, an Evolving Skies. And I promise you, I promise you, you have my word on this, that we will be opening up some celebrations in the next video or the previous video. I'm not sure what or or order that I did this in. So either you have watched my celebrations video or you are going to watch it in the next video. I'm not 100% sure. I will try my best to get it out as soon as I can, but I've only got so much that I can, I can do, you know? Uh, so here we go. We're actually just going to do four booster packs like normal, a classic ducky opening. I say a classic ducky opening way more often than I should. And... You know what I love about this studio? I know this is kind of off topic, but you know what I love about this sh studio is that it looks different every time. It looks different every single time because I have to redo everything because this is actually just my work desk where I do my homework and stuff in college, right? So I have to redo everything every time I record a video. So the figures are in different, you know, arrangements and, and order and uh, spacing and it's all at a different camera angle. It always depends. And that's just something that, I did, you, got, you guys didn't really get with my original studio, you know? Uh, my original studio, I love it. Uh, it is, you know, I take that over this studio any day of the week, twice on Sundays. But I I guess I didn't really appreciate uh, how, how constant it was. You know, there was, I, I knew where everything was. I could rearrange things whenever I wanted to and stuff like that. And this studio is like, it's very variable, very variable. So here we go. We've got our four booster packs today. And I'm hoping I can open more Evolving Skies in the future, but it's quite possible that this this could be, like, my last pack of Evolving Skies because once Celebration starts, I'm going to be investing all of my time and money into Evolving Skies. So the order we're going to do this in, into Evolving Skies, into Celebrations. Once Celebrations comes out, I'm putting all of my time and money into Celebrations, getting that product. I want to actually complete the set. That is something that... I've never done before. I've never completed a set, and I feel like it's the most attainable set to complete. So I think this is just the order we're going to do it in. We're just going to do Evolving Skies last, then we're going to go Chilling Rain. We're going to go Chilling Rain Battle Styles, uh, Chilling Rain, and then some Evolving Skies. Hopefully, we get some better pulls than we did last time, which was subpar to say the least. But guys, I want you to let me know your first reactions of Celebrations, because it did already come up by the time this is being posted. Uh, did you guys get some product? Uh, are you enjoying the set? How much have you pulled from the set? Uh, I've heard the pull rates are incredibly high. I'm literally just looking for one card and one card only, and that would be that Full Art Zekrom, because it's my favorite card of all time, and the fact that they included it in, gener in Celebrations and I didn't realize it, wow, that's crazy. I, I didn't even know the set list. So let's open a pack. Oh my gosh, I've been rambling and rambling and rambling without any end until now. Guys, there is an end now. I'm opening up a pack of Chilling Rain. Chilling Rain, one of those sets, uh, if we had to put it on a tier list, one, two, and done, you know, S, A, B, C, D, it is definitely a B tier set. It's not an S tier. S tier is like celebrations, uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, I don't know. I could probably do a tier list of all the sets if y'all really, really wanted me to. I used to do that all the time on the channel, Tier Maker Tuesdays. It's I still have a playlist up, so if you want to go check that out, you are very much welcome to. Uh, it was just one of those little mini series that I did on the channel when I wanted to make some more content, and I... I think I enjoyed it a lot, and I hope you guys did too. We're starting things off with a newer and improved Earth Psychic Energy. Putting that all the way over there. We've got a Bonk. We've got an Echoing Horn, Seabold, Porygon. We got a Little Bonk, hashtag Grookey Gang, a Mareep. Oh, Rock Ruff in the Snow. We got Swirlix, a Reverse Hollow, Galarian Chestplate, and our rare. It's a non holographic Scolipede. Starting things off with a dud pack, but that's okay. As long as we can get, like, at least... I'm looking for at least one Ultra Rare today. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm just looking for an Ultra Rare today. That's all. I'm on the hunt for an Ultra Rare. Can I get something really awesome amazing? Well, I guess that we'll see. Uh, I, out of this entire mini-series, I've only gotten three pulls, and we're on pack number ten. So that's a solid 30%. Very, very bad rate. Out of 10 packs, we should be pulling about 
not five, but like four, we should be at least at 40%, uh, one, two, and done. Actually, 30% isn't a terrible rate. It's kind of the norm these days. Uh, you're usually pulling about one every three packs. Uh, yeah, actually, that's not a bad pull rate now that I think about it, but I would always like more. You guys know how I am. I, I'm a collector at heart. I'm not going to try to flip and resell this stuff. Like, I'm just trying to enjoy the hobby as much as I can, get as many unique cards as I can, and make sure that y'all are enjoying it in the process, because if y'all aren't enjoying it, what's the point of me doing it, you know? We got a Sizzlypede, a Swordward and Shieldbird, and our rare. It's a non-holographic Mian Shao. Y'all, y'all, we got our bad packs out of the way. We've got two really good-looking packs here. We got the Galarian Zapdos and the Ray Quay Quay, and I'm hoping one of these has an ultra-rare hit or better. I know I don't usually do this in the middle of the video, but I really would like you guys to send me some good luck, so just, you know, do the things that I say that I'm about to say, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I post three times a week, uh, just reminding that. And then I'll remind you again after this pack, but at the same time, I really need the luck for this pack especially. I just feel like something's gonna be in here, and I just need to make sure that y'all have all the luck on my side, you know? I, I need to I need to feel the love in order to get the best pulls, because obviously that makes scientific sense. It doesn't, but I'd like to think it does. One, two, and done. The only thing I'm chasing from the set, and I mean only thing, is the alternate art Zera Aura V, because I am a Zera Aura main in Pokemon Unite, and I really, really, really want to pull it because it's a gorgeous card. So, we have got ourselves a newer and improved fire energy, a Dyna Tree Hill. Uh, they can't be healed. Why, why would that... Why would you not want... Okay, got to justify gloves. Lucky energy. This is a sign, guys. We got a lucky energy, which means we're going to get some lucky pulls, I hope. We've got a Golette. Clobopus in the sand. We've got a cast form. Hatina sitting on a leaf. Aaron, what is Aaron doing? Is it like working in like the industrial revolution? I don't know. I don't understand. We've got a Zangoose, our reverse holo rare, because I'm the king of reverse holo rares. And our rare is a holographic Rillaboom. I actually don't have this one. It looks pretty epic. Pretty epic. So we got a, at least a, a white code card in that one. I was I was getting worried that we weren't gonna pull anything. But it all comes down to this last pack of Evolving Skies. And now is the point where I really, really need your good luck. So I'm going to send you all the good vibes. All the good vibes have been sent to you, the Duck Squad. And all I ask in return is that you give me all the good luck. And there are three ways you can do that. Number one, like this video. Really easy. You scroll down, you click the like button, you go whoop, and then and click the like button. Number two... Number two, comment on this video. You can comment anything you want as long as it's appropriate, but I'd also really, really like to hear what you guys are talking about with celebrations, uh, your opinions on that. And number three, if you are not already subscribed, please consider clicking that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, click that notification bell to be notified every time I post Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 3 p.m. Central Time. And now with all that being said, Come on, Evolving Skies. The last pack of the mini series. We gotta end on a bang here. We really do. Can we get an evolution here? I've already gotten that Sylveon V, and I'm very, very happy that we got that Sylveon V because I was ecstatic. I love Sylveon. And so when we got that Sylveon V, y'all, that was great. Also, if you haven't checked out that video, please do. One, two, and done. Uh, that is a pretty fun video to both produce and watch. One, two, three, four to the front. I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. And if this isn't, you know, meant to be, then it's okay, because that just means we're going to get some better pulls during Celebrations packs. We've got ourselves a newer and improved fire energy. A single strike scroll of the Fanged Dragon. That sounds really epic. Really, really epic. We've got a Floet. Bulldore crashing through. Slockoth hanging on a cliff. Gossifler. Love Disc. A Fletchling. A Chinchow. A reverse hollow Fletchender, and the final card of this video is... Oh! Oh, y'all. Y'all, it's been too long since I've been able to put a card in that Ultra Rare Binder. So, we went one for four, technically one half for four, if we're going by my definition, which is a terrible, terrible pull, pull rate. Overall, we are three for 12, which is 
one out of every four packs, which is below odds, but not too far below odds. So at least we weren't like one out of five, one out of six or something like that, because I have had days where that has happened. But we did get a cool new Rillaboom holographic that I didn't have before. Looking very epic, striking the drum. Uh, but that is the only highlight of that of today's video, I, I guess. Anyways, that is just about going to do it for the video today. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Always, always, always do those things. It makes me happy. And hopefully my videos make you just a little bit happier. Remember, I get the bad pull, so you don't have to. And with all that being said, I'm Octodux Pokemon, and I'm out.